At Tanzania's independence monument, tributes being left for the country's fallen peacekeeping troops on a day dedicated to those who are ready to give their lives so that others may live. Tanzania joined global peacekeeping efforts 13 years ago, and this soldier says it's a life of uncertainty. The life of peacekeepers in the area of operation is unpredictable. Tanzania currently contributes peacekeepers in six UN missions in Africa and UNFIL in Lebanon with the intention to help countries transition from war to peace and to support the fight against terrorist threats. There is what we call asymmetrical warfare caused by a threat of terrorist nature. After the decisive defeats in the Middle East, global terrorism is looking for space in the African continent to continue their agenda. Last December, Tanzania lost 15 soldiers and many more were injured in an ambush while peacekeeping in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Despite this, the country says it remains focused on continuing its support in forcing peace on the continent. The foreign minister says Tanzania is considered a valuable player in global peacekeeping. And now on this day, the government says it will strongly continue the fight to maintain peace against new and emerging threats. Tanzania has provided 2,700 military and police personnel to the UN peace operations so far and is ranked the ninth largest among member states currently contributing personnel to the larger UN peacekeeping force, a contribution that the UN is keen to recognize. Now for Tanzania in particular, we consider it a very important day because Tanzania for the last 15 years has been heavily involved in peacekeeping operations and has sustained many losses. UN peacekeeping deploys more than 100,000 military police and civilian personnel in 14 peacekeeping operations across the world. As Tanzania honors its fallen heroes, it is affirming its pledge of support for the UN peacekeeping operations. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.